Wolverine, Captain America, and Thor versus a bunch of stoners. <laughs> the war on drugs continues. Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Pat or the Dungeoneer. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and what is going on with all the hands? I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, uh, since my Five Nights at Freddy's video did so well and you guys really liked my amazing super accuracy to the characters, I thought, hmm, what else could I make? in custom content with all these amazing options. Well, let's see. Let's see what Pat's been cooking up in the old Tab's kitchen. So I wanted to make two more factions, two factions that hate each other more than anything in this world. I was gonna do, and I might still do, Finance of Freddy's versus Chuck E. Cheese because, you know, they're mortal enemies forever. But I was thinking, what, what are two things that hate each other more than anything? Marvel and DC? All right, so over on the DC side, we have Wonder Woman, of course. <laughs> I don't know why her head's so small. Do you remember that part of the movie where her head got really small? That was a, that was a weird movie. So, uh, yeah, she's kind of accurate. I mean, she's got the crown. She's got the armor. It's ish, accurate-ish. It's not screen accurate, but I'm sure there's a comic out there that has this outfit. And how could you have DC without the Dark Knight himself? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually not that bad. Come on. That's that's pretty good. Even as the spikes. I don't know what the straw is all about. I think I made the wrong shirt. But that's kind of that's kind of Batman-ish, right? They got the glowing white eyes. I kind of went for more of like the uh, the Michael Keaton Batman because that's my personal favorite Batman. And uh, I didn't realize he has the little the hood on the back there, but this is the closest I get. So there's Batman. And of course, how could you have DC without the man himself? The man, the myth, the Superman. Why is he so short? He looks really short. All right, well, here's Superman. Pretty pretty accurate, I'd say. He looks, looks pretty good. He's got the boots with the fur. I don't know why he's got track pants on. <laughs> that was a mistake. Again, I would like to reiterate, I did the best I could with the tools given to me. You show me a better Superman. You, you go out there and find me a better looking Batman. That's actually pretty cool. I actually really like that character. And on the Marvel side, fighting for the Marvel team, fighting for the legacy of Stan Lee, rest his soul, we've got first up Captain America. Look at this bad boy. It looks like he's carrying a pizza, but that's the best shield I could get. Got the little helmet. He's kind of like the, the World War II Captain America, the version before he, uh, the, the, the less modern version. You know what I mean. The, the one from the movie, he's got the little helmet on. You know what I'm talking about. That, that guy knows what I'm talking about. Captain America, following it up with another Avenger, one of my favorites, Thor. This one was a uh, <laughs> this one was kind of easy actually, because they already have a I think they already have a Thor character in the game, so that was kind of a that was too easy. That, that actually is Thor's hammer. That's what it's called, this Thor's hammer. I don't know what it does, but it looks very large. It looks larger in real life. It looks a lot smaller in the movies, but I think he looks pretty good. He looks pretty Thor-ish. I'd say. I mean, he's got the... Most of this stuff actually is part of the Thor set, so that was kind of a given. But this next one, I had to get very creative. Oh! Oh, there he is! Can you guess who it is? No. Oh, he's got... He's, looks like he's got boobies. Whoops. Messed that up. Uh, no, it is not Iron Man. It is Wolverine! <laughs> Look at those claws! Oh, man! This is like... This is like when your mom doesn't want to buy you the, the real costume for Wolverine and, and like instead wants to make it herself. This is the yellow suit Wolverine. This, this is the one that I like the most. It's got the red belt. It kind of looks like Wolverine. That's close, right? Yeah. Hugh Jackman would be proud. He's even got the blue skin and everything. So here we go. It's DC versus Marvel. This is a war that's been going on since... I don't even remember when, but people on Marvel hate DC, and people on DC hate Marvel, and Marvel's better, and DC's better. I don't know who's better, but we're about to find out. I'm about to settle this feud right here with this little showdown. So put your votes in now. Who do you think's going to win? I don't remember what stats I gave these people. They might have just, like, default stats. I got a weird feeling that Thor kind of has an advantage because he has, like, a special weapon, and everyone else kind of has, like, normal weapons. Some of them don't even have weapons, but uh, I don't know if I'd, like, mess with their stats. But here we go. DC versus Marvel. The fight is on! Look at him go. Oh my god, Superman moving at blinding speed. Oh! God, Wolverine just decked him! I also made Wolverine like really small. Oh, look, they're 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 hugging. What the hell is going on there? He's, he's turned on Wolverine. He's choking him out. Alright. 
Uh, wow, Captain America, you beat up the small-headed Wonder Woman. All right, upon further evaluation, it appears that the uh, Thor's hammer is a little too, a little too godlike. So we uh, we went and replaced it with a hammer from uh, Home Depot, <laughs> which is kind of a normal hammer. All right, the, the 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 playing field is a little bit more leveled. See, like the the Marvel side has a little bit more points, but I honestly don't know what that's for. Like, you could jack up their attack power to like five million, and it doesn't affect their. Uh, it doesn't affect their point value, but you can make them like one inch taller and it adds like 200 points to their, like it makes no sense. It, it's, it's asinine. We're here we are at the Clark Kent farm, the Kent farm. This is where he grew up. You must defend your homeland or your home. Oh, wow. Wolverine just beating people up. He's a little feisty guy. Look at him side eyeing everybody. Even, even Captain America doesn't feel safe around this guy. Did I make Wolverine like overpowered? <laughs> All right, let's have a rematch. I want a nice clean fight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Wonder Woman going in hot. Oh my God, it's like a one-hit kill from. Wow. Okay, I think I made Wolverine a little too, a little too strong. Look at him. He's like you're talking to me, bitch. I know you're the god of thunder, but I'm the god of stabbing people in the neck. All right. Apparently, Wolverine's spandex was too tight and it was giving him powers unknown to man. Get in there. Let's see. Oh, I put two Wonder Woman. Oh, I put three Wonder Woman. How the hell did I mess that up? Oh, it's the Wonder Woman squad. Man, Wolverine, why are you so... Is it the claws? Are his claws just, like, super powerful? <laughs> I might have to declaw Wolverine. He's a little too powerful. He's the only one who actually has, like, real weapons, though, so I guess that makes sense. Look at him! God damn! He's just like, but I, I put two... Wait a minute. How did... Did I put Wonder Woman on the Marvel team? Oh, <laughs> instead of putting Thor, I put Wonder Woman. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. They, they look very similar. It's easy to get them confused. I think the claws are just really powerful. I mean, everyone else is using their hands. He's using a bunch of scissors that he duct taped to his hand. God damn! Well, that solves it. Marvel is better than DC. I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't get. I didn't choose this, guys. I swear. Like Marvel, you know, that's just that's how the cookie crumbles. I guess it's not my fault that DC showed up to a a knife fight with their fists. It's not my fault. You know, Wolverine came in hot with the uh, illegal weapons that we told him not to bring, but you know, that's just how it goes. Remember that time when Superman and Batman teamed up with Wolverine to fight the Pirate Scourge? I remember that comic. Good old episode 200. Superman's impervious to bullets. Yeah, you just biffed him. <laughs> Man, Wolverine, you are crazy. I think I made his attack. I, I also made him like really small. <laughs> so apparently Wolverine is like really, really short. Man. Who would have thought claws are really powerful? Batman's just like, oh, I'm glad he's on my team now. You know what was really big in like the 80s was all those like anti-drug PSAs. And they would always have like video game characters and uh, like comic book characters like fighting against drugs and whatnot. So we're gonna have Wolverine, Captain America, and Thor versus a bunch of stoners. <laughs> that war on drugs continues. Can they beat them? Or will drugs win in the end? Let's find out. Wolverine's ready. He's like, I... I, oh no, he dropped his claw, he died! Oh my god, Wolverine got stoned, wow! Drugs beat Marvel. Oh my god. Captain America, you're supposed to be standing up against this stuff. Well, the Marvel team let us down, but let's see how DC favors. Ba Batman, he, you think he hates guns the most? He actually hates drugs more than guns. No, I, I can't watch this, come on, Batman. Oh, Batman, you had one swing and you missed. <laughs> Batman might be on drugs, but there is one evil that DC and Marvel had to team up against. They had to join forces and put aside their years, their years of hating each other and competing. Uh, is this everybody? All right, I just make sure I don't have a duplicate. Why is Superman so short? Why is he so tall? Jesus Christ, Captain America. They join forces to fight the greatest enemy of our age. Freddy Fazbear Gang. <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen the Freddy Fazbear Gang, go watch the previous episode. Look at these guys jamming out. They stand no chance. The Freddy Fazbear people are like crazy powerful. They're hanging in there though. Oh my God. Yeah, the, the point deficit is like 7,000 to like 200. <laughs> no way. Wait, did the Freddy guys win? Wolverine? <gasps> Wolverine, no! Superman. Foxy just tearing ass across the farm. Oh my god, leaving behind a ditch of bodies. 
And once again, the DC and Marvel heroes assembled, putting aside their differences to fight one pissed off mammoth that escaped from the zoo. <laughs> one big ass furry creature of death. Can they overcome this? Can they join for- you thought Galactus was powerful, you thought Thor was powerful, you thought, uh, what was this name, Darkseid was powerful? No. Nothing compares against a giant beast such as this, with his tusks of justice. Batman, get in there! You 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 fought worse. Oh, Batman, you really let me down. All right, what if the DC and Marvel guys join up against the Stoner? There's strength in numbers. Drugs never win, kids. Drugs never win unless the drugs are two tons and being hurled at your face. <laughs> oh my God, that kills him instantly. I underestimated the Stoners, like most do. Oh yeah, biff him. Get him in there. No, what are they doing? They're joining together. Come on, Wolverine, you're my man. Yeah! Wolverine saves the day and frees the kids from existence. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. If you guys can think of any other interesting factions or characters or just weird face-offs you would like to see me try and to try to get accurate, try to get as accurate as I possibly can, let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I actually made this faction... Around the time I made the finest phrase one, but I didn't record it until now. Uh, so I actually kind of forgot what their stats were. I kind of just like hit buttons and just it, it did random things. I didn't realize how strong Wolverine's things were going to be. And I don't have a bias. I like both Marvel and DC. Don't, uh, you know, don't go crazy disliking the video because, you know, Wonder Woman's head was too small <laughs> or something. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a good day or good night, and I'll see you next time.